Hi, everyone. Hi. Happy Easter. Hope you guys are doing good. Hope you're having a good Easter. I am. I just decided I would come on and chat a little, paint a little, see how everyone's doing and see what's going on. So it's in the afternoon here. Well, late afternoon here in Hawaii. And we have had a lovely day so far. Very quiet for us. Generally, we get we all get together and have a big family powwow. But, you know, with all this social distancing and everything, we are... Hi, Lori. Happy Easter to you. With all this social distancing and everything, we... um, It's been super low-key, you know? Plus, they... Um, instituted sort of a, cor uh, a curfew thing here so we um we're kind of doing that too how are you miss Lori? so i think i'm gonna jelly print for a little bit i am um, these are some of the jelly prints that i made i think the last couple of times we've, we've been together what's up with you have you had a nice easter and i like to hi Joni. happy easter and I like to jelly print on magazine pages and newspaper. And, I mean, I like regular paper, art paper too, but this is it. This is what I, I choose to. So I think I'm going to paint papers and jelly print for a little bit. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm good. Did you guys have a nice Easter celebration? Did you guys all have an, a, a lovely Easter celebration? So, you know, I know I can just hear somebody saying, why waste your paint on this? Well, I vote, why not? Plus, I'm not using kind of crazy. I'm not using expensive paint. No, look, I did do just some plain paper. This must have been just some art journaling paper or some, it wasn't any expensive paper. But I'm going to, I'm going to jelly print, I think, and I don't know. And these will end up as backgrounds or in journals. So tell me about what you ladies are up to. I want to hear and all you lurkers out there say, hey, I appreciate you guys being here with me and hanging out. You really need to do some painting papers. Painting papers. Hi, Nashua. How are you? Painting papers are an addiction for me. I, you guys, I don't know why, but they just are. Hang on. I think this is probably my my hottie calling me or texting me. Um, and I asked, you know, and so I ask him if he, every time he's been to the store, they haven't had any tomatoes. So it did start my garden, but it's not, you know, it's gonna take a while. So I think I'm gonna paint on all these. And I'm going to use this Costco magazine as my roll off. And it works good too because it's super thin. You're what you're watching a, a video and stuff pocket folders. Oh, I, you, you guys, I've been, I've been binge watching British television. <laughs> I mean, I have it on in the background. Hi, Jean. Have it on in the background. It's not necessarily like totally first in the forefront, but I have it in the background and I don't know. I, I, you guys know me and my British television. I love it. I don't know why, but I do. So I'm going to get out a couple of stencils. You guys, I don't even know where I got the stencils, so don't ask. I have no idea. I have like a random folder of stencils that I keep close by, and so I don't really know where they came from. So I'm going to I'm gonna jelly print on. I have this idea for a magazine, for a, for a journal, for a new journal, and I'm going to and I've been sort of working on pages for it. Hi, Kathy. And you know what I realized? I have an inordinate amount of green and blue paint here. I don't know. I mean, I do have a whole bunch of paint in the other room. But anyway, this is my green and blue paint moment, I guess. So the auction was so good. How many of you guys went to care? Hi, Deb. How many of you guys went to care the Disabled Artist Foundation auction? yesterday. I got to hang out a little bit. I bid on a few things, didn't get anything, but I was happy to be there to support. And it was awesome. You were there, I know, right, Jean? 
some really beautiful things. And I, I love to see what um, people are donating and what people are, um, you know, it's just kind of a fun thing, right? It's like super fun. Just, or Defy, as she calls it. I mistakenly called it Daffy because it's D-A-F-I, and you know, that's just, you know. So, yep, yeah, this is going into, I guess it's really week one and a half for me from being um, laid off from my job. And I'm sure many of you guys are laid off too. I know I'm not the only one. And I have to tell you, um, I've been on a little bit of a funk in regards to it just because I'm used to being so busy and my body's just going like, what in the heck, lady? Where is, where's our stuff? You know, like, where's our, <laughs> do, do you guys know what I mean? How many of you guys are in on that and totally know what I mean? Let's see if I can find a background. I've already started, but this will look nice on some of my my painting papers and I painted just this was like some it's like a it's a I'll show you it's a manual that I got obviously free but the paper's nice so this is what I'm printing on okay so for all of you that have those manuals that's what I'm printing on but I want to see if I have something that I could lay this over that's already got a background I have the pink you guys I, I was obviously in a pink thing the green thing. Maybe I'll just have to, you know what, I think I'm going to have to make my own background for this because it's going to be a little too busy for anything that I put it on. Let me just make a background for it. Let me make a background. Let me make a background. Let's see, okay. Let's see what I have here. I don't have a lot of choices. Maybe I'll just do them. This is purple. Hi, Shannon. How are you? Happy to see all of you guys. <laughs> Jane says she realized that she needs to make more stuff and you've been asked where your art was. Girl, I get it. I get it. I get it. My birds, yeah, the, the the birds that live in my backyard. Because I I don't know, but I do have a lot of birds, and they're having babies. You guys, we have these. If I can, I should try to take some pictures so you guys can see. Um, I have these little. We have these little tiny baby birds that. Um. Well, they're little small Hawaiian birds, and they their nests are so tiny, and the babies are like even smaller. And they nest all in my yard. I have to be careful because my hottie's been trimming our trees. Because I told you guys I'm planting a garden. So he's been trimming our trees. And I have to be super careful because I don't want to hurt my baby birds. Okay. I think this will be a good background. This will be a good one. Let's see. Oh, that looks good. And for those of you that are for just joining me, I, I, I'm obsessed with like recycling things. So, you know, I'm if, if I can make art on recycled bits, I do. I don't know why. I, you know, it's either for you or it isn't. I, I get sometimes comments from people saying like, why would you waste all your good materials on that? And see, I, I view it as like, I view it as good no matter what, you know? So... You guys, they really get loud sometimes. They're kind of quiet now, but they get really loud. And when it gets close to, when it's first thing in the morning, they're loud. And when it's dusk, they're loud. Almost sounds like they're like, you know, basically, I don't want to say fussing at each other, but kind of. You take care and be safe too. Deb says she's working on several journals at once. I love that. That's a, 
if you guys haven't gone over to Deb's channel, you should. She makes beautiful um, collage journals, and I love them, Deb, as I'm sure everybody here does, too. All right. And you guys, sometimes they don't come out, and that's okay. That is okay, because, you know, if you're going to cut it up and use it as collage bits, it all ends up working out. Hi, Sharon. Yeah, you guys, I didn't realize this until somebody told me this the other day. You can't just go next to somebody's name now and click on their name and click and join their channel. I guess you have to cut and paste it into a browser. I mean, YouTube is making all these changes, which I'm sure seem really good for YouTube, but I don't know if it's so good for the for the average person, you know. Happy Easter to you if you celebrate, and for those that are Jewish, happy Passover, and for those that don't celebrate any of it, happy Sunday. Well, it's Sunday here. Oh, and my, my little one got some fingernail polish and painted my nails this morning, painted one nail. She was like, I want to test it and see how it, how it looks. I'm like, okay, I can test it and see how it looks. YouTube makes it so much, you know what, and they've, they've instituted all these, like, new things that I personally, I mean, you guys pipe in and say what you think. I don't necessarily think they're really good. I mean, how many of you guys think that the policies that YouTube's instituting are, are good? I don't necessarily. It doesn't work for me. So all I'm saying to you is that, you know, friend each other on here or like each other's channels. Go over. But if you guys want to be inspired by some really nice collage journaling, go over to Deb's channel. It's a Debbie Cork, C-O-R-K-E, and you will be completely inspired. I don't know how many subscribers do you have, Deb. I mean, I'm subscribed to you, but I don't know how many. Because I never know how many subscribers anybody has. I don't even know how many I have. Do you guys get those notices where they say, your, subscri your subscribers are down by this or up by that? And you're like thinking, and that doesn't matter. You're not a fan of the new things, Kath? So Deb has about 250. So you guys go over and support her. Go over and, and join her channel. Jean, how many do you have now? Because Jean needs to be doing some live streams for Defy. I agree, Sharon. It totally sucks what they've done. But they don't listen to the to the little they don't listen to the little YouTuber. They only I think they're really only concerned with those that really make money for them. Don't you think so? <laughs> And you guys, I've been watching if you guys are up. So Jean has 610. How many do you need, Jean, to start streaming? 1,000? Is that what you need? It used to be, what did it used to be, you guys? I don't even know now, but it didn't used to be that you needed 1,000. It used to be that you needed, I don't know. I'm just going to, I don't remember all the ins and outs of YouTube. Because you guys, when I started, you could, you know, streaming wasn't so popular, you know, so I have to let this dry. The only bad thing about my arting in my new time, in my old new tiny space is that um, I don't have room for anything. You need a thousand now. So you guys go over and check out Jean's channel. Yeah. Jean, will you put Deb's channel in there too? Hi, Liz. The other thing, are you guys getting your notifications? I'm not getting my notifications. So I completely missed the other day, Carla Cage Fish was on. And you guys, I happened to be on YouTube at the time that she was on. I was looking up how to teach seventh grade math. <laughs> I was looking up how to work on seventh grade math with my daughter. Because I don't remember. And... You guys, I was on YouTube. I am subscribed to her channel. I have the notification bell. Didn't get it. Same with the Jersey Crafter. I did not get her. She was on doing her thousand subby giveaway party thing. I didn't get any notifications. You guys, so I'm like, yeah, I don't know about this. I don't know what YouTube's got going on. Maybe some of you guys know better than me. 
Maybe some of you guys know better than me because I I'm like kind of baffled at the whole thing. I'm kind of like, yeah, well, <laughs> kind of baffled with it. If I've missed anybody, say hi to me in caps because I, sometimes I don't. I look up in my little reading area; it's super super small. So. Your notifications are good. Well, that's good. I'm glad. I've missed like people that I normally like get notifications for. Granted, I'm not always able to watch when I get them, but I used to get them. Now I don't. They want you to put your notifications on your phone. Oh no, I don't. I don't watch YouTube on my phone, you guys. I don't. I don't. I don't share. I share a data plan with. You know my kids and well my younger daughter and my hottie and you guys they do much more like he depends on his phone for the things that he does so i don't want to be like using up all the data you know so i don't have it on my phone i don't have it on the phone so if somebody's going to ask what am i using this for for whatever you want there's like no rhyme or reason and it doesn't ma it doesn't really matter. You know, just backgrounds, painty papers, painty papers for no reason. Isn't that why we all love Shannon Green? She is so awesome. She makes, she says, you know, she makes her art for no reason. And I love that. I appreciate that. Don't you guys? Don't you guys appreciate that? So you guys tell me what you did for Easter. I want to know what you did. You guys, we've done really nothing. We've done um, little or nothing. Honestly, we've done little or nothing. I got up this morning. My hottie had to work. He's still at work. He um, and I made him breakfast. And the Easter bunny did come to my house, which I have to tell you, I'm surprised the Easter bunny came, but the Easter bunny did. So that was good. The Easter Bunny came and what else? Mm -hmm. The Easter Bunny, the, my daughter said the Easter Bunny knew her well this year. My 13 year old, she said the Easter Bunny really had her number. I was like, how is that? She says, well, I don't really eat candy. And the Easter Bunny didn't bring me much candy this year, but did bring me facial products. And I love that. I said, well, hey, I'm happy for you, too. So I'm surprised, though, the Easter Bunny came this year at my house. I don't know about you guys. I didn't know we were good enough to get the Easter Bunny. <laughs> Shannon stayed home by herself, and you worked in your garden. Oh, but your garden's beautiful, Shannon. Kathy Berg, yes, you are for the fun, no plan. Yeah, it's the best way to do it. Deb says she didn't do anything apart from a few chores and set in her garden. But that's nice just to be able to relax. Joni said her son smoked a pork shoulder for you and you had pulled pork. Oh, and you delivered dinner to your parents. That's nice. You had the same thing? Well, you guys know what we're having. We are having burgers. We are having burgers. I have been on my keto diet now for almost a year, you guys. And I found a recipe for um, for bread, for keto bread. And so I made, I made some a few days ago. I made some keto bread a few days ago. And it was really yummy. At least, you know, like when you haven't had bread for almost a year. I'm sure that those of you that are bread connoisseurs would not think that it was very good. But we thought it was very good. Okay. So, <laughs> so I, I made some, I made soup yesterday. I made, um, the keto version of like Italian wedding soup without the noodles. And so, um, I 
made the, the the keto version of Italian wedding soup without any without any pasta, and I thought it came out good. And I made the bread again. And so my hottie said to me today, because I said, "What do you guys want me to cook?" And or or who's cooking? Basically, is what I asked because my daughter's a really good cook too. And can I tell you, after all the years of cooking, it's really nice to have somebody else that cooks well and that can cook for you too. Would you guys not agree? I'm painting a little bit of background color because I want the um the pink to show up. And I and as much as I love the history of Ubuntu, I don't necessarily want that. The really nice. Hopefully, the pink will show up good. So that's the only reason why I'm painting over this. So they so they voted burgers if if we make the bread again. So that's what we're having burgers because we've been having bunless burgers for you know for a while. How many of you guys have you have you guys done like a restrictive diet and suddenly like when you can have something that may not be exactly the way you wanted it, but you have it again and it's like I don't know. So anyway, I wouldn't necessarily say it's for those that were really our bread connoisseurs, but for those that are on low carb diet and haven't had any bread in a while, it's excellent. Excellent. How many of you guys have been keeping up with Miss Barb Owen? How to get creative with Miss Barb Owen? I I haven't been able to be there live the whole time, but I, ha I was the other day and it was really nice. And how many of you guys are doing her Mandela Madness? Her Beyond, is it called Beyond Manda or Beyond Madela, Mandela Madness or what's it called, you guys, that she's doing? But it's nice. She's been streaming like three times a week. I think after this whole thing is over with, we're going to be all sad because we, you know, I get to go back and watch her reruns, even if I don't make it there, you know? You're gluten free and dairy free and you have the best banana bread recipe. Oh, well, share it with me, Miss Joni. Share it with me. Although bananas aren't really on keto, you can have them occasionally, you know, and I, I have bananas growing in my backyard, so, you know me. All right, let me see, what color am I going to put as the background background? Maybe I'll do this green, or maybe do this green. You been watching Dawn make her mask? Oh, I watched Dawn the other day, too. I was watching her when she did her, was she doing Fatty Patty? That's the name of her glue book, Fatty Patty. Yeah, I watched her when she was doing that. I always loved that. I loved Dawn. I love all, I love watching all of you guys. Um, my latest jam is I've been watching Irit Abraham, but she comes on in the middle of the night for you guys or early, super early in the morning. And I love her artwork. I love her style of art journaling. You know, I don't art journal as well as she does, but I like her style. Um, I've been watching her and she doesn't have very many subscribers either, which just kind of surprises me, you know, because you guys are all like, it just surprises me. You feel like all you do is watch to YouTube. How are you, Miss Jean Norris? Hi, Jilly. How are you? And this one may not have come out very well because I didn't. You know, sometimes you got to clean off your jelly plate, and I'm notorious for not doing that. How many of you guys are like that? Notorious for not cleaning it off your jelly plate. Well, no, that one didn't come out well. The background was. I needed to do a lighter color background. The background was too strong, but it's it's fine. I'm not I'm not complaining. You feel like all you watch is YouTube. I love YouTube. I mean, I have to say, during this pandemic, it's been it's been it's been a wonderful distraction for me. It's been a really wonderful distraction for me. You don't clean your jelly plate either. You guys, I have so many jelly plates too. That's the other thing is I have multiple jelly plates of all sizes. Well, I'm glad you guys are here with me too. I have been, I was going to stream yesterday and I guess I don't know what I got caught up doing. Does it seem like even though now we're all home and we have more time than we had before that you get caught up doing stuff like 
normal life stuff. Like, I don't know you guys what I did yesterday. My days run into each other and it seems like I'm doing the same thing. Well, I am like digging at my backyard a little to plant some, get some seedlings going. And I did get a few plants, not big, but a few plants at the nursery. All right, you guys, I'm going to just roll over this and I'm going to let it dry. The, the downside to working on magazine pages and stuff is they don't all take the same amount of paint and you can pull up the, the page itself sometimes with the roller. But, you know, it doesn't really bother me because I use it in any way. I tear them up and use them. But... I have a roll-off dictionary that I love, but I don't have it around here. I, I have a roll-off dictionary I really love. And I'm working on this book. Let me see. You guys remember a while back I was doing the One Minute Money Manager? Well, I found some that I had in my stash, and I was like, oh, I'm going to get back to doing this. I made a bunch of altered One Minute Money Managers and how and who moved my cheese just because I like the page size. But the pages, the um, page quality is not equal. All page quality is not equal. <laughs> Deb says she spends all day being very busy and she's not sure what she's going to, she's going to, you're not sure you're going to have time to go back to work. I hear you. You're obsessed with cleaning your jelly plate. Hey, good. You made some kits during the auction. Well, that's good. I didn't, how much money did she end up making? I didn't, I didn't, you guys, I couldn't stay till the end. Who did, who am I missing? I missed Piccadilly. Hi, Piccadilly. And I missed Love a Dove. Hi, Love a Dove. Hi, Piccadilly. Sorry. If you guys don't chat me in all caps, sometimes I don't see it. Not because I don't want to see it. I just don't see it. If it rolls by, my screen is pretty small, and if it rolls by too fast, I miss it all. So let me see. I've been working on, okay, I've been working on my collage journal. I got that going on. I've been cutting out images. I've been trying to, see, now I love this. Okay, this is what I love. Okay, how many of you guys, isn't that delicious? I don't know if you can see how good it is. It's better in person. But anyway, I love the texture. Love, love, love it. And I'm going to stick this wax paper between it. Otherwise, it's just going to stick. And I, I like it. I don't want it to stick. So anyway, I like these one-minute money managers. I don't know why. Just because they're small, I think. I like them. And I, I did a, a couple of years ago. I made a bunch of different art journals. I probably have five or six. Right? But see, only you guys get it. And I'm having my diet cream soda. That's my newest thing. I don't have, very, have it often, but I like it. Yeah, I'm a homebody too, when I can be. But you guys know I was working ridiculous hours and had lots of stupid stuff going on. And now, yeah. I have been... I have been applying for a remote job, so I've decided that I might just like to work remotely. And then I could get some of my life done. You know? You know, it's hard when you've been self-employed for, like, most of your life. Some of you guys pipe in that have been, that, that are self-employed. Hang on. How many, you guys pipe in that are self-employed. So if you've been self-employed most of your life and then you have to work for somebody else, it's not always easy. And for me, that was me. And then when we were trying to buy a house, and when we went to the mortgage broker, he said, you need to get a job. Hi, Mary Lou. He said a job with a paycheck, like a, <laughs> like a pay stub. Because he said it's much more difficult, at least here in Hawaii, to get a job and to get to buy it, to get a, a decent rate on a mortgage if you are self-employed. So I got a job and then I got two jobs <laughs> and, and I 
I realized, you know, even though I've been working for other people for the past how, year or whatever it's been, it's been less than a year, but you guys know what I mean, that I don't think that, I don't know. So I'm thinking if I work remote, like if I work for a company remotely, it's not like going into an office every day and dealing with that kind of office politics. It's just about getting your work done. And Lucy, she understands. And she said she wouldn't last a full work week working for somebody else. I I get you. I, I mean, it's like, you know, I don't know. What, what are you guys talking? Okay, wait. This is. Kathy says she's she's convinced her thrift store will go belly up without her there. My neighbors are outside chatting with each other. Like there's a elderly couple that live across the way from me and I've watched their grandchildren come off and on all day. And it's been so sweet because they're not, um, they're just standing like, you know, far enough away where they can chat. And so I think they brought them all food. You're telling him to get him a boat? You're telling you, Kathy to get her husband a boat? I, you know what? I understand Deb. Deb says she's okay with being home, but she misses her grandbabies. Girl, I get it. I so get it. I really get it. I get it. I mean, I think all of us are sort of in that space of like, of how, you know, maybe, maybe um, I can do without going out to restaurants and stuff like that. But I do miss, I do miss some of the things that I used to do. And I, I definitely miss the people that I see or the people that I used to see. Hi, Suzanne. So let me think of what else. Okay, so I've got my couple collage journals going on. I've got my magazine journals. You guys, I'm obsessed with that. If you guys haven't made a magazine journal, you have to try it. It's definitely uh, worth trying for those of you that are into trying something new. And I've, so I've gotten like four of those that I'm working on in all different stages. One that I've been working on forever, the one that I was I told you was supposed to be a gift. And you can see where that gift has gone. It hasn't even... The gift hasn't even happened yet. Um, um, then I have a couple of junk journals I'm working on where they're in process. Some of them I have like just taken the pages out of the inside of the book and I've gathered pages for them and now I have to decide, you know, signatures and all that, right? Yes, thank goodness for Skype and FaceTime, right? And Zoom. You can't visit resident to resident now. Where do you live, Jean? Where do you live, Miss Norris? Okay, I'm going to let this dry for a little bit. And I'm going to... I thought I had newspaper here, but I don't. Because I came over here, I'm ill-prepared. I do have... I am like in my Costco catalog. It's thin. Remember the year that I made flowers out of the Costco catalog? Certainly some of you guys have been here that long, right? Where I made flowers out of the Costco catalog. Oh my gosh. You guys, I think I've made everything out of the Costco catalog. Did you guys get the notification that Costco is no longer going to send out the catalog? You live in Michigan. Your family's gathered on Zoom. Oh, okay. Yeah, I talked to my sister and her kids today on FaceTime. Your neighbor threw a coconut at you today? Oh my gosh, Shannon. Oh, you did. Deb said she did FaceTime from five households, 11 people to sing happy birthday to the kids. Oh. Let me see. So what else what else have I? Oh, these are some these are some magazine images I tore out that I liked. Guys, I I need to purge more than I have. How many of you guys have way too many things? I do. I have way too many. I have way too many of everything.
Yeah, well, no, they're not going to. What they said, no, it's because of the COVID thing, Kathy. They're, they they said, I got something in the mail. I got a, something in my email that said, you know, with one of those little, what are those codes called, you guys? They look like, um, you know, they're like little, I can't think of what they're called. Anyway, I got one. I'm sure you're going to get it in the mail if you look for it. it and it just, uh, I mean, in your email. And it just said, uh, I don't know. It, it was talking about, you know, if you, you if you want to get your sale catalog now, that's how you're going to have to do it. So I don't know nothing. Guys, I don't know anything. No zero. Zero. Okay, some Reader's Digest pages. Oh, I'll show you guys. While I will show you guys a couple of cool things that I got, and I'm going to keep jelly printing for a while. Okay, in from my stash. Okay, these are from my stash. This is called cleaning up and shopping in your stash. Okay, <laughs> so I found this book that I've had, I don't know, but isn't it great? It's called Foodorama Party Book What to Serve and What to Do for two uh, parties, children, teenagers, and adults. Look, it's, it's hilarious. Well, my cord for my camera. Anyway, so this one, I don't know if I'm, I'm going to cut it up, I think, but we'll see what year was it. It is 1959. Okay. And it's got some cool, like, party games. Look, like, isn't it great? So I don't know. I haven't quite decided. Shopping in my stash. Okay. So I love that. You're going to start making bread, Jilly? Jilly's making bread. Jilly, even before this, when I was not doing keto, I made bread. I know, right? You were born this year, Jean. It's a great book, though. I just thought, and don't you love the back? Like, look, like a pineapple in the middle of the plate. I don't know. I just like the whole thing. I don't know where I got it. I probably got it at, um, you know, one of those friends of the library things. This is my favorite thing that I've had for a while, but it's falling apart. It is a Spanish, I think it's Spanish. It's a Spanish book, look. Isn't it great? And it's from 1863. Isn't that great? It's falling apart. It's a prayer book. But I just was like, wow, isn't that one good? I just love it. And the cover is just beautiful. And the spine, it's still in very good condition for what it is. And now I love this, right? I may not do anything with it. I may just hold it. <laughs> I may just covet it. Do you guys, and it's tiny. It's like, I don't know, but I love it. That was another thing that I found in my stash. But oh, this one's a great one. It's totally falling apart, and I've used some of the pages of it, but I love it. Okay, this is a very old Japanese book. It's dated, and it's falling, completely falling apart, and it's dated, it was gifted in 1928. Isn't that great? It was given to the Paia Japanese YMCA. Isn't that great? But it's all falling apart, so I've used some of the pages from it, but I love it. I just love it. It's like... I know, right? That was a cute size. Your young one in the chat, Shanna? I think we're probably all close to the same age. Oh, it's a 1959 baby. And then, do you guys know how much I love this, right? Do you know how much I love this? My har, my har brace college handbook that I got at the thrift store for free and how I've, you know, made it into a... A collage journal and I love it. This is my version of a fatty patty, but more like a collage journal, you know. So anyway, so I and I love working in it. So look at what one of my kids got me. Look, they got me volume eight and nine. So now I have two more to start. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I love the cover of volume eight. Like look, volume eight, right? Volume eight and volume nine. So I haven't even started gluing in those yet. So I'm going to start, I got to glue the pages together. So shopping in my stash. That's what I've been doing, girls. Shopping in my stash. How many of you guys could just shop in your stash and you'd be golden? Shopping in your stash is all you need. Right? 
You read it in college? You were just reading back. You were born in 1959, too? Well, that was that book, the, book, the party book, how, how to Give Parties or whatever. Oh, my God. I should put this in an, in an art journal. Ellen apparently doomed to a drab life of service. <laughs> That's just brilliant. I'm going to save it for my Reader's Digest. Oh, my goodness. Anyway. So, let's see. So, the Easter Bunny made it to my house. And... Um, I suck at seventh grade math and I don't think that, uh, being a homeschooled, uh, person is my forte, like homeschooling my child, but I'm doing my best and she's really trying hard. So that's all that matters, right? She's trying and I'm doing my best with it. We're all doing our best. My daughter, my oldest daughter, she's the queen of homeschooling. Okay. Her and my son-in-law. Without them, I don't know. I dare to see how we would be faring. Seventh grade, it's like, yeah. You know, there's a reason. There's a reason that you have children when you're young. And I think it's because you can tolerate the things that you don't know better. I don't know. Or maybe it's closer to when you were in the seventh grade. So then you can help them easier. I don't know, you guys. I do not know. All I know is that it's ridiculous. All I know is that I have had a ridiculous time. Seventh grade math. And I used to be really good in math. So, it goes, you guys, I don't know anything. 60 is the new sexy. I think so. You're, you homeschooled your seven kids. Oh, Sharon, maybe you can give me some pointers. It's not that I couldn't homeschool her if I could teach her what I know, but have you seen the way they do math now? How many of you guys have been in on how they do math now? It's not the same way we did math. It is not the same way we did math. Okay. Like I can come up with the answer, but I can't come up with it the way they came up with it. Does that make sense? How many of you guys, how many of you guys have that same issue? You have to what? Oh, good night, Shannon. Hope you have a wonderful night and happy Easter. Hi, Michelle Scott. Happy Easter. I've missed you, girl. What is up? What's up with you? And how's your, how's your sweet baby? How all are your babies? Well, they're not babies anymore. And how are you, girl? I haven't talked to you in so long. Guys, this is what I get for like not, this is what I get for working all the time, right? And then now that I'm not working, I don't even know what to do with myself. I do know what to do with myself. I have so many things. Somebody called me and told me they were bored the other day. I said, oh, no, I'm never bored in my life. I have too many things to do. <laughs> and Jean says, so why do we have to show our work? Let's just get to the answer. I agree with you, Miss Norris. They're all good. My kiddos are all good. We've missed you, Miss Michelle Scott. What have you been up to? What have you been up to? You've probably been up to like all kinds of amazing things and I've missed all of it, right? Is that what's going on? They sent you Nichols is a, my daughter goes to Montessori school too. Wait till they get in junior high school. It's like, oh well, yeah. I mean, some kids are predisposed to read at three and others aren't, you know, it's like everybody learns differently. So yeah, I get it. I get where you're coming from, Miss Kath. I get where you're coming from. I get where you are coming from. I get it loud and clear. It's 
So how many of you guys have made masks? I have made a few. Not enough, though. My my middle daughter said uh, that her boyfriend needs one now. I mean, they, I guess they give them some at work, but it would be better if he had a, like, he wears the, whatever, the N90 or whatever it is, N95. It would be better if he had a fabric one to go over it. So I cut, up, I cut out some. They're sitting on my sewing table because, girls, I cannot find my elastic. And you know what the elastic is from? I use it for binding, you know, putting in my Midori junk journals. I have a whole roll of it. I cannot, I don't know. I don't know where, you guys, I don't know what I did with it. It's like, I've, I've yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what's going on in my world. I can't find my damn, uh, I can't find the damn. Use a hair ties. I could do that, I guess. A bra strap. Jean saying, use a bra strap. Okay, bra strap. You made cartoon truck material? You guys, when I went to the, well, I didn't even actually go. My hottie went to the fabric store. You guys, they were out of everything. I had to make mine out of batik. I got some weird Christmas print, which is hilarious. Next time I stream, I'll bring a piece in here so you guys can see it. It's like a Christmas. It's like pineapples and, and a hedgehog and I don't know, all kinds of stuff. And then um, a rice ball, pineapples, a hedgehog. What was the other thing? They're, it, they're, it's really actually funny. My daughter was like, Mom, this is ridiculous. I was like, yep. It is ridiculous. Now, you guys, if you use one of these for, like, your roll-off or for, like, test prints or whatever, and you don't, you don't want to make an altered book out of it, cut the pages out. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. You saw a mask made from a bra. I told you guys my story. Remember when we had that whole anthrax scare and they were like given this thing about, um, they were given this thing about, you know, using your bra as a, as a mask. And I told you guys that <laughs> my bra so big, it would cover your whole, my boob, one of my cups so big, it would cover your whole head. It's like, I'm losing weight, so my boobs are getting a little smaller, which I'm grateful for, but you know what I mean. It's like, <laughs> I don't think I would be a good candidate. Now, see, I love this. I know this is silly, but I really love that. I love how the how it picks up all the rest and the grungy part in the middle. I don't know if it does shows up very well on this camera, but you have to fit your whole head. Oh, the girl did hers, fit her face perfectly. Hi, Patricia. Jean Peter, didn't you have a new grandbaby? Am I wrong? Didn't you have a new grandbaby or you're having a new grandbaby? Or am I like just thinking about that? Jean Norris says you can find, if you can find a HEPA vacuum bags, you can cut them for the filters in your homemade mask. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, somebody told me I should not just do that. If I, um, if I would, uh, if I would, um, use air conditioner filters too, but I haven't, I haven't been, he's one year old now. Dang, Jane. See, that tells you, that tells you how long it's been for me. Sorry. See, better late than never. So what are you guys going to work on during your, during this whole, um, this whole, this whole shenanigan? The whole shenanigan of of this. What are you guys working on? Or what do you have on your crafty wish list to work on? It's probably better. Is that a better thing? Oh, I really love this page. I'm going to have fun working on this book because I like the pages. I should have glued some of them together, but I didn't. Oh, well. These pages are not as, um, as sturdy. Your grandbaby is five months old. Oh, congratulations. So 
So I, I have, I have been working on my scavenger hunt book and I do have several videos that are ready to go or I have to finish editing and I haven't done it. Okay. So Jean Peter says her list is crazy long, but the gumption is not there. Oh girl, I can, you know what? How many of you guys are in a funk? Let's just, let's just talk it out. How many of you guys have been in a funk? I have been guys. I have been in, I, and I don't usually, Hi, Michelle W. How are you? I don't usually get in a funk, but I'm telling you, I have been, I have been in a funk. And so I can relate. Like I have, I have all these projects that I want to do and I just have, yeah, yeah, I've been in a funk. I have been in a funk. So I can relate. I can relate. You're going to do journaling by fives, Jane. Oh, that's fun. Oh, good night, Jilly. Big hugs and lots of love. You did a live with Kathy, Kim, and Lisa. Oh, that was nice. How, do you, how did you stream together? How did you guys stream together? They have some new streaming software out there that I haven't. I'm not all privy to all of it. How, what, how did, what was the, how did you stream, Miss Jean? Share with me. How did you guys stream? StreamYard. You know, who is it? Somebody told us about that. So how does it work? Is that supposed to take the place of Google Plus or Google um, Chrome or whatever? Is that what everybody's using now, StreamYard? Who else is using StreamYard? You can have six at once on it. Has Google has Google Plus totally um, gone defunct? Is that is that gone now? Because I streamed with Michelle Scott and for her birthday. Was it like two years ago, Michelle? It was so awesome with her and Abby from Purple Cottage Crafts, who we love, and with um, Michelle's mom, who is hilarious. It was a fun day. We streamed. How long did we stream, Michelle? It was long. Like it was a marathon streaming. It was it was crazy marathon streaming. It was so fun though. I got a lot of stuff made that day, whereas I don't always get stuff made, but I did in that stream. Okay, somebody's going to say, why are you doing it in this book? For no reason, because I can. Wasn't that a good stream? Michelle's so fun to hang out with. If you guys haven't joined her channel, you need to. Michelle Scott. But you can't even go to her name in the chat and put, you have to go to... Um, Oh, Michelle says that she's live every Monday and Thursday with Patty Lang, and it was twelve hours. Oh, your birthday was twelve hours. Are you do, are you doing twelve hours with Patty too? How is Miss Abby? I haven't. I, has she been on? I haven't. You guys, I really need to like get my. Um, I really need to get my myself together as far as like keeping up with people because I'm missing everything and you guys I don't know why I'm missing it it's like anyway I'm missing it it's just my it's way my life's on right now no yours was with Patty it was like it was just five hours no your birthday was awesome how is Miss Abby how is Miss Abs 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 I love her if you guys haven't gone over and watched her channel you should too Purple Cottage Crafts. She's awesome. She's the queen of slow stitching. Okay, right now. I've seen some of her things that she posts on Facebook, but I haven't seen her. I haven't seen her do any lot. Has she been doing any live streams, Michelle? Have I just missed it? Because I'm missing everything, you guys. 
that's kind of how my life's going right now, but it's all good. Jean just put Michelle's channel right there so you guys can go over and join her channel. And if she's streaming on Mondays, what time do you stream on Mondays, Michelle? Michelle is the queen of shabby chic. She is totally the queen of shabby chic. You're streaming, you're streaming on Patty's channel. So when you do it on StreamYard, does one person host? How does that work? Sharon, if you love Shabby Chic, you got to go over and hang out with Michelle. She does some beautiful, beautiful, and she has a Facebook group too. Go to her channel and then look for her Facebook group on there. It's got a very long name. And even though I... I um, belong to it. I can't, you guys, the older I get, the less I can remember. Hi, Karen. How are you? It's Patty's channel's Patty Lang, right? So one person hosts and then the other ones. Your Facebook group is gone? What happened? See? That tells you how out of it I am, you guys. I am so out of it. But, Michelle, can I tell you I understand? I totally understand. Can I tell you the other day, I was kind of in my own funk thinking, should I just let go of this Facebook group? <laughs> it's, like, it's like a lot of work. In Kathy's world says so she only gets notifications for Patty's sales. Michelle, we should do a lot. We should do a combo live stream again. Maybe we can get Miss Abs to do it with us and laugh. Because you guys, I need some laughs. I don't know about you, but I could use some laughs. I think we could all use some laughs, don't you think so? I think we could all use a few laughs. You would think that I closed down and started another one. Oh my gosh. No, it's just sometimes, I mean, you guys pipe in. Okay, some Facebook groups, it's like an easy thing and everybody participates. And then some of them are just like, you know. Um, and, you know, when I was working so much and I didn't have much time to put into anything, it was like, it was, it was a lot. And then now it's like, I don't know. I just get people that want to solicit their, like they don't even post, they don't even like or subscribe or share anything with, like if somebody posts their art, they don't even, they don't even mark, they don't even reply to that. They just go in and start marketing whatever they are blindly. And, you know, every five seconds, um, you know, I would love to, I love to see your artwork. I love to see. You're, if you're live streaming, post it. You know, I love to see if you're, you know, like we posted Kara's auction. Now, after her auction was down, I, t I deleted the post because, you know, it's like one of those things. But it's, you know, I delete posts after I post stuff, you know, and, you know, like after the fact, if it's if it's for some time frame. I, I don't know. Yeah, they come in and ask you to join their When her new, Abby's new craft room. Oh my God. I saw her rug. She posted. So this is how I don't even get to see much, but like occasionally in my post will come up, Abby showed her rug for her, her room. I was like, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. I mean, her craft room is like nicer than my living room. Okay. <laughs> is that bad? Her craft room is a fancier and nicer than my living room. That's how nice it is. 
if you guys haven't got, I don't know. Well, she'll do, I think she's going to do a craft room tour, right, Michelle? It's like beautiful, beautiful. It's two stories. See, I didn't know it was two stories. I, I, I you know, I haven't, didn't know that it's two stories, but I did see like some of the stuff that she has in it and it's gorgeous. It's amazing. You guys, my craft room right now is like a corner in my bedroom. Okay. With all my kids here, there's no vacant bedrooms. I used to have it in my dining alcove, which is now a seventh grade classroom. No, I knew she moved back to Oregon and I knew that, you know, I've been watching her do her, you know, like her little bits and pieces of her renovation for it or whatever, but two stories. That's pretty sweet. That's, that's really nice. That's super nice. All right. I'm going to leave this alone for a little bit. And I'm going to see if I can get some of this blue on here. You're with me. Jean, I'll live stream with you. If somebody shows me how to do StreamYard. I'll support you and live stream with you so we can get you some subbies. If you guys haven't gone over to Jean Peter Artist channel, do it, please. Because she's an amazing artist. Jean and I have known each other longer than, probably longer than I've had a YouTube channel, maybe. I mean, I don't know. She was one of my first crafty peeps on Facebook. And we joined a really cool textile um, journaling group together, which I don't even know if that's still going on. I'll just have out of it in. I am. How many of you guys like to do textile collages and textile work and make dolls and that sort of stuff? There is a group on Facebook that I would highly recommend. It's called the Rag Bag Girls. And it is, they do, I, I only participated in one swap, but they do some really cool, very, very, very cool stuff. And it reminds me of textile collage. It reminds me of that group, Jean. I mean, they do some high quality stuff. And and the lady that's in charge of it, her name is Jean Rubman, and she is stellar. So if anybody likes to would like to do any sort of textile collage things, I would tell you join that group. It's um textile it's um rag bag, I think it's rag bag gals. Abby's new craft room. A little jealous here. Well, not really. You guys, I live in Hawaii. I can't really be jealous. I guess I can be jealous, but what good would I do? Right? What good would it do? How many of you guys can, how many of you guys feel like I do that you can't have too many painting papers? That you can never have too many painting papers. That is sort of how I feel. You can never have too many painting papers. And some of my most favorite pieces of artwork that I've ever made have been collages with painting papers. You just started slow, slow stitching in an old quilt square. Oh, that sounds fun, Suzanne. Yeah, go over and check Abby out. She's a slow stitching queen. And she was just recently, I remember seeing on Facebook, wasn't she published in some magazine, Michelle? I was so happy for her. Now I'm going to try to clean my jelly plate off with the tape and see how it works. Hi, Millie. How are you? I love painty papers. I just, you guys have been so stressed out lately. And, you know, and I know that there's that stress does not help anything. I know that. But I have just, with all the uncertainty, not just in my life, but in everyone's life, it's been a little stressful for me. You know, as I'm sure it has been for all of you, too. I'm not making my stress any, not making my mind out to be any more important than anybody else's. But, um, you know, it's been, it's been a lot. You have a box of them to collage with. Oh, that's awesome. Hi, Michelle Wynn. Michelle Wynn says she loves painted papers and she has a box of them to collage with. So, 
So I still have my make myself a coffee table book out of painting papers. I'm still working. I have that one I've been working on. Yeah, so you guys, what month was it, Michelle? The Somerset Magazine. Abby is Abby Henderson, and she has a channel on YouTube called Purple Cottage Crafts. And she does beautiful, beautiful. She makes really beautiful shabby chic stuff, too. But right now, her thing is slow stitching. And so she's really... She's been making all kinds of stuff, and she was just featured in Somerset Magazine. Recent, an, a recent one, yeah? Yeah, it's Purple Cottage Crafts. You guys go over and join her channel. You'll love her. She's fabulous. Okay, you guys, I like, this is so ridiculous, but I like the what comes off my jelly plate. Sometimes even more than the prints. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. But I do. The spring issue. So you guys go and check it out. And then go over and join her channel. You'll love, you'll love, you'll love her videos and you'll love what she does. And so Michelle, you're streaming what time on Mondays and Thursdays? So I know Barb Owen is streaming on Mondays. I don't know what time. Does anybody know what time Miss Barb streams on Mondays? And Wednesdays, is it the same time? Is it like her normal 2 p.m. Eastern? Because you guys, I live in Hawaii, so I never know what the times are. You use you use foil and empty spools of tape. Yeah, Barb's on 2 p.m. Eastern. Is she doing Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays now, Joni? I haven't. I caught her. I caught her on Friday. So that Barb Owen is how to get creative.com Barb Owen on, on YouTube and Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 2 PM Eastern. You can go over and hang out with her. Michelle's doing Mondays. What time are you doing Mondays? Michelle with Patty. Michelle's doing Monday and Thursday night at 7 PM Eastern. So you can go over to Patty Lang or Michelle Scott. Michelle, are you going to do any promo on your channel? for it so we can so people can know and there are mondays and thursdays at seven so that's a couple days a week you guys can can hang out because i don't have a schedule yet or if i did i'd tell you when it is i know um Maridel abrams from the mary atier she streams a lot and i know she streams fridays at 8 30. you caught barb on friday too i love her Yes, she'll post a link. Okay, so go over to Michelle's channel, join Michelle Scott, and then she, you'll be able to find out when she's going to do her live. What are you and Patty working on? Besides cutting up, Michelle will make you laugh. She's fabulous. Um, who else is doing live streams? Jean, are you doing... Right now, overlapping on lives is normal. Yes, you can over look. Let's just look at it like this. There's nobody owns a time slot. If you happen to want to go over and watch them, great. But it's like just because somebody else is doing it doesn't mean you can't. You guys, we all need variation and choice. You know, and you know, it's okay if you overlap or you know you don't have to feel like you're not being. Um, loyal to somebody just because somebody else is streaming and you're watching them. I mean, that's ridiculous. There's more than enough in this world for all of us. And supporting each other any way we can is always a good thing. I think Stacy, I love Stacy from Pink Poodle Crafts. I think she still does her, doesn't isn't she doing her mixed media mashup on Wednesdays? It is a lot of streaming, Deb, but you know what? You have choices. Now you have choices. Like you have, you can, you know, you can go over and watch somebody and flip it on for a little while. Or you just, if you just happen to be around, you know, or you want to work on a new different kind of project or you want to see what somebody else is doing. Yeah. You 
we were having something done in our house the other day and I really had my stuff set up to do a live stream, but the guy was working on the roof and it was just, he was making so much noise. It was just not even worth it. Yeah. And you can watch the video later and you know what? You don't have to stay the whole time. They journal and paint and she does mold and she sells. So that's what Michelle's saying. Suzanne is saying sometimes she has three going at once. You know, I do that too sometimes, especially if I'm like trying to get a bunch of stuff done around my house. I could have one of them on in the living room and one of them on in the bedroom and one of them on in my laptop. <laughs> How many of you guys do that? I know it's ridiculous. I know it's ridiculous, but I have the same thing. Maybe I'll just paint without a jelly plate for a while. If I can find my, if I can find my painting tools, I may not have them. Here are my tiny corner. So after this whole mess is over, my hottie and I are definitely going to go back on the house hunt. We're definitely going to go back on the house hunt. You guys, I realized in this quarantine, that I need, you know, it's one thing to live in a small space and you work all the time and you're not home. But it's another thing when you're home. I'm like, I need my own. I need to have my craft room set up where it's like not the guest bedroom. So whenever our kids come and go, I have to move out. Oh, Kathy, let it go. You know what? This is a free country. That's what makes America beautiful. I don't care if somebody else is going live. If they want to, you know what? Everybody has their own choice. And, and, you know what? I would never ask somebody to cancel or whatever. I mean, if somebody actually wrote to me and said, cancel your live, I'm going live, I'd stop watching them. <laughs> I would stop being, I'd be like, mm, yeah, no, I'm not going to watch you now. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's like not. I just think while we're all going through this pandemic thing, that having a lot of options as far as like crafting and things that are going to keep you busy is a good thing. And having as many options as you can is, is, is awesome. You know? Yeah, I need my studio back. I really do. You were so right. Yes, Artsy. You're, yes, Miss Marilyn, you were right. I need my space back. But, you know, my hottie's a painter too. So he's got his... He paints in the garage, though, because he has oil paint, and I can't, in our house, it's just too stinky. But, yep. Yep, I, um, I think we all need as much as we can have, staying busy and staying, and staying positive for each other, right? You know, I think APG Jamie, she does every third Thursday live, but I don't remember what time you guys would have to go over to her channel and find out. And if you guys are night owls, head over to Irit's channel. She does a live stream almost every day, but it's late at night for me. You guys, I don't know what time it would be for you. She lives in Israel, so she's she does um, she has different times. No way, <laughs> Jean said. No way, she Miss Jean Peter. No way she can move out of her studio. No place for all of it. <laughs> you know what, Jean? So my dining room. I, I'll take a picture of it for you guys sometimes. So I have all of my big shelves with all my crafting supplies, you know, all my stuff in there. But because we've had to set it up for now the seventh grade classroom, you know, I had to take out a bookshelf and whatever. She needs a place outside of her bedroom because otherwise she, because telling you, she's, she's doing homeschooling homework right now. She's doing work right now. She, she got up, she gets up, she's very organized. 
she gets up at, she got up at six o'clock this morning. She took a shower. She's 13. Like she's on it for herself. You know, she's like, I need a routine. So she created her own routine. I was like, why are you up so early? She's like, I have math test tomorrow and I need to get some studying done. So, but we're definitely, after all this is over, definitely going back on the house hunt and the studio part is the top of the list. That and two bathrooms. <laughs> you have to realize my hottie never lived with girls before. So, you know, he has only sons. And so, and I don't know if he's ever lived in a one bathroom house either. So when you have, especially a teenage girl, you know, she's in the bathroom all the time. And he's like, this one bathroom house has got to go. <laughs> you know, he's like, I need, we need two bathrooms. It's very funny. Oh, I love Noe too. Yes, she's awesome too. I haven't seen, has she had any live streams for a while? You guys should go over and check your read out. She does a different style of art journaling, but I love it. And she she's very creative. She's She's got a really unique style. Oh, Deb, it's 4.30 in the morning for you. Oh my gosh, girl. Hi, Linda's mixed up mess. How are you? Sharon, you have a craft space, but it's small. Girl, mine's even smaller now. <laughs> Jean said if she was to sell her house right now, she would list it as one bedroom, two bathrooms, one studio, one packing room, and a large garage warehouse. <laughs> oh my goodness well you guys have a lot of choices so you can head over and i know stacy from pink poodle crafts she does her she live streams too and i love her and i love hanging out with her i like i like i love her i love hanging out with her she's so she's always fun Dawn, let's make a mess. She does some. I'm sure there's a million other people out there doing them. I just am not, I don't know them all. That's all. And I'm not saying somebody's one person's better than another. I'm just saying there's options for those of us that during this stressful pandemic time can, you know, I think it's better than watching television, don't you? Although I have to say, I'm, I told you guys, I'm addicted to my British television. I watched The Night, the night Manager. Have you guys seen that? Oh, that was good. It had Hugh Laurie in it. And some really young English guy, but I don't know his name. But I enjoyed it. It was only like six, it's only like six episodes. And that's like a whole season for them. So I loved it. I loved it. So what are you guys doing to stay busy? What are you guys doing so that you don't worry? That's probably a better thing. I got all my stuff to do. Um, some canning. Which I haven't done anything yet, but you, know, you guys like, I like to batch cook or I like to put it this way. I'm originally from Texas and people in Texas, I don't know, some of you can pipe in. Like, we, I don't know how to really just cook for two people. So I probably cook for more like 10 people. So I thought maybe I would start, um, just putting up some of my, like when I make big thing of spaghetti sauce, I thought I'd, you know, I would put some up, can some of it. And then when I, you know, that kind of stuff. So that's what I'm thinking of. Some of these stencils I have are cool. 
you're learning how to container garden. Yeah, I've got some container gardening going on in my backyard too. Hi, Christine. It's 4.30 where you are too in the UK. Debbie, where are you? Are you in the UK or are you in Ireland? Your art, cooking, and eating. <laughs> and you do the same for two, so you freeze it. We did get an extra freezer, but I'm just thinking that, you know, I could can some of it. Oh, Andrew Lloyd Webber. Yes, I saw Andrew Lloyd Webber was having something. Lynn sent me a link to that, although I didn't watch it yet. She sent me a link one day. And, um, she messaged me a link for Andrew. I love Andrew Lloyd Webber, don't you guys? Have you guys also noticed like a lot of musicians are streaming live? Like Mary Chapin Carpenter, she does, if you like country music, she streams all the time. Melissa Etheridge has been streaming every day. Um, lots of different musicians have been, you know, streaming. And I think that's awesome. You know, I think it's like so, makes you feel like you're not alone in this ridiculousness, right? Have any of you gotten any ideas or have they said anything where you are of when they think for you? I live in Hawaii. We are a worldwide travel destination. And because they are just now lifting the travel bans in China, we don't need until, you know, until I think the whole world is like much healthier or whatever. We don't need a whole, a whole influx of people coming back to reinfect or to, you know, like, say we haven't gotten over it yet and you know you know you, you guys get the drift right so we kind of get the sense although they haven't come right out and said it we kind of all get the sense that it's going to be for us i'm not saying for you so don't anybody freak out we kind of get the sense for us in hawaii that it's going to be a while night calf so are you leaving take care we love you take care of your babies Thanks for coming to hang out. We, I appreciate you coming to hang out, girl, and always supporting me. I appreciate that. So I don't think it's going to be soon for us. Somebody told me in New York they told them June. I was like, oh, well, you know, ours probably the reality or the realistic part is that would probably be the best thing for us too. you know, just just for the sake of the protection, you know, because Hawaii, we have a lot of um, kapuna, a lot of older people live here, you know, and yeah, it's super important for us to protect our old. May 1st, they're saying for Ohio. Well, I hope for you guys that's true. We don't think it until June for us. If they're saying June in New York, we're thinking that it's going to be June or July for us too. My hottie keeps saying that, you know, he thinks they're just going to keep stringing us all along until, <laughs> you know, oh, soon, soon. And then. Oh, I love Jane Seabury. I know who she is. I love that song, Calling All Angels. She does a meditation at four o'clock every day. Ooh, I'll have to watch it on Facebook. Is her is her is her is it Jane is it Jane Seabury on uh, Facebook? I love her. If you guys don't know that song, it's a beautiful song. Yeah, Christine. Christine says she heard it would be June in New York too. And London is three weeks behind them, and Wales is three weeks behind them. Ooh. Bye, Liz. We love you, girl. Hi, Mary Kay. How are you? Hey, Lori. Bye, Liz. We love you, girl. Stay safe. Stay safe. You know what? Some of these pages I may just cut out. May just let go. I need that front ATC background. 
maybe I should only paint on one side of the paper instead of all of them. So then that way, if I cut them out, I'm not cutting out some other artwork that I like. That would be smart, right? If I had planned myself well. <clears throat> So did you guys, did you guys cook? How many of you guys celebrated Easter? Did you cook? Did you just, one of my friends wrote me this and I don't think she understands the reality of my situation here. She said, what do you mean you're cooking? It's your holiday too. I said, girl, there is nothing open here except a fast food restaurant. The only places that are open right now, I mean, you might be able to get some takeout, but it'd be from the other side of the island. And you guys, where I live is expensive. So let's face it, you know, would you really want to spend that kind of money on, um, would you really want to spend that kind of money on takeout when you can make something way better? But she's like, she doesn't, I don't know that she doesn't cook or anyway. I just said to her, I said, girl, so that's not my reality. I mean, I look before all this happened, of course, I went out for dinner and stuff like that. But when your only choices are like fast food, I would, you wouldn't really choose that over home cooking, would you? I guess maybe if you were like tired of cooking or whatever. But now I like that one. Guys, I really like that one. Do you guys like that one too? Love all the crusty parts that come off on it. You made breakfast? I made breakfast too. You had tomato sandwiches? Oh, yum. You said Easter means more than Christmas, so you're fed up. You're fed up with what, the holidays, or are you fed up with just the way people are reacting? <clears throat> I want to let this page dry. I really like it. I don't want to mess it up. Macy's, what? What did I miss? Thanks, Sharon. Thanks, Zala. You didn't cook? <laughs> Linda said no. She didn't cook. She didn't have her grandchildren or her kids. Only her hubby and he's getting fat. Oh my God, you're so funny. You guys, I told you mine went on this keto diet with me, right? Oh my God, I created a monster. You guys, he wasn't even overweight to begin with. He has lost 35 pounds. He has gone from a size 34 waist to a size 29 okay and now and he's he was always active and and fairly fit but now he is now doing calisthenics and doing like all these things guys you have no idea it's created a monster it's like he gets on the scale more than i do i'm just like whatever he's happy it's all that matters but I'm just like, oh my God, I created a monster. Keto diet created a monster. In many cases, her church did an Easter parade, driving their cars by your house and yelling happy Easter. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, I agree. Being fed up with not being able to go see your parents and stuff. I get it. I totally get it. Missing. I understand. Somebody posted that today on Facebook about how, you know, like she lived, she may purposefully moved near her children so she'd uh, be able to see them and watch their kids grow up and all that. And that because of all this, that, you know, she hasn't been able to. And, and she said, my house is usually bustling with kids and family members. And, you know, I understand. And I feel super lucky because, you know, you guys know my older daughter, she travels a lot and lives all over the world. And right before all this started, she and her husband came for a, for something that I needed them to come help me with here in the States with the, my youngest daughter. And so they, she, they came and you guys, if they weren't here, they would be in like Taipei or someplace like that. And I probably wouldn't get to see them for like, who knows how long. Yeah, you miss your grandchildren too. But you know what? Look at it this way. 
this is what I said to my friend, and I don't know, maybe she appreciated it or maybe she was like, ah, you know, thinking all kinds of whatever. I said, you know, we all took for granted how often we got to hang out with our family and our kids, right? So now after all this, none of us are going to take it for granted anymore. And we are all going to, when we finally do, when we're finally able to get together again, we're all going to be just so grateful. I mean, my sister called me today crying because we usually spend one of the holidays together. But we didn't, obviously can't, couldn't do it this year. And they were planning on all coming. She's got a big family and they were all planning. They should have all been in Hawaii because one of her daughters lives in Hawaii. She didn't live on my island, but lives on a different island. And um, they should have all been here. And she's like, you know, I said, yeah, I understand. But you know what? After this, I think it's going to help us all create better values for ourselves, like what works in our own lives personally, not necessarily what the status quo is or what works for somebody else. We'll be doing what works for us, right? Oh, no. Yeah. Ask them. Ask them how important it is. Because if we're having hamburgers, I think she wanted iceberg lettuce, but, I mean, ask. If it's not okay. important, don't worry about it. So I told you that our stores have been out of tomatoes. He just, he passed me a note. He came home from work. They had no tomatoes at Safeway. So he's telling me he'll go somewhere else. We are lucky we have technology that we have. Absolutely right. We're lucky that we have the technology that we have. And we're also lucky, you guys, that we have our health. With That we have our health. That all of us are here in a live chat having our health because we're staying safe right this time next year it'll feel like a different it'll feel like different and the other thing is not only will it feel different but we'll we'll have a different response to things i mean i don't know about you but i'm already having a different response to my life like i, I i've actively been looking for i have actively been looking for a remote job so that i can stay home and be with my my 13 year old so that I can, you know, so that I can be here to help her with her math stuff and her whatever she has going on, right? So I can do that. I'm, act I'm actively looking. The only thing I'm finding for myself, and, you know, this is the first, wor first world problems, right, is that mo nobody really is in my time zone. So for me... The hard part is, I mean, do I want to get up at 2 o'clock in the morning and work from 2 a.m. to 10 a.m.? That's That's been the problem for me right now. That has been, that's been the issue for me. I found a couple of jobs, but did I want to work from 2 a.m. to 10 a.m.? And I know that's like stupid, but. Oh, that's such good news, Lori. Congratulations. Well, I know all of you are missing your families because I know I'm missing mine too, you know, and I know that all, you know, my extended family and the ones that I would see. And I'm also missing my friends, you know, like just the, like one of my friends, I talk, try to talk to her every day because she, she and I work together. It's like weird when you're, when you're used to like working with somebody every day and then all of a sudden you don't see them. So I try to talk to her every day and we talk about nothing. We talk about, you know, she took the dog for a walk or, or, you know, whatever, something silly. Good night, Mary Kay. We love you. You ate too much sugar. I get it, girl. What happened to your friend, Marilyn? I missed it. I didn't I didn't see what you were saying. I didn't I missed it. I didn't see what you said. I'm sorry. You do tea time and bedtime visits. Oh 
You work from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m.? Yeah, well, 2 a.m. to 10 a.m., I don't know. I mean, that is really going to be, that's going to be a real, I don't know. Maybe it's not so difficult. Maybe I'm just imagining it. <laughs> it's going to be difficult. I don't know. So that's just what, that's the only reason why I haven't, like, taken one of them yet. But, you know, I may. I may. I was just hoping I would find something that was like a little less um, like that, you know, like something where, I, where it would be in the middle of my day or something. Okay, I love this one. Okay, I know it's like super, like not, uh, well, you can't really, but I like the, I like the, the grungy one with me. I'm looking. Haven't found anything, but looking. But looking. I mean, I found it, but yeah, you, you got my drift. All right. Yes, yeah, so let's catch up. Night, Miss Michelle Scott. Maybe I'll, if I can, if I can, depending upon what I'm doing tomorrow, if I get a chance, I'll come over and, and chat with you live stream at seven. All right. I'm addicted to neon colors right now. I don't know why. And it's so great. Thanks for stopping by. And thank you for always supporting me. I really appreciate it. We totally have to catch up. And we have to plan a live stream. We should plan a live stream. We should plan a Michelle Shelley live stream. And you can invite whoever else you want to be. And we'll craft and chat and laugh. And your mom. Oh, my God. I love your mom. It's almost midnight. Well, good night, Miss Linda. I hope you sleep well. You'd be better in the morning. I hear you. You could do 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. I just don't know if I could do 2 a.m. to 10 a.m. That's my only thing because everybody in my house would be asleep. And then when do I sleep? And I'm a night owl. You want to learn how to stream? It's not difficult to stream sharing. You just have to have enough subscribers now. They've changed the YouTube rules. Or you have to stream with somebody through StreamYard. Good night, Suzanne. I hope you have a wonderful night and I hope you sleep well. Hi, Dana. How are you? You guys, as soon as this whole thing is over, we're going to resume our um, our Facebook ATC swap. As soon as, so if you guys wanted to start making your ATCs, start now. Um, we talked about doing it. Um, Diana sort of is the one that organizes it. Or I organize it and she helps organize it or whatever you want to call it. It's a tag team effort. And we talked about it the other day because I talked about pay it forward mail. And I don't know how many of you guys are going to do that. I mean, I'm doing it and there's no um, there's no requirement for anybody to do it. But we talked about it. I don't know. I'm assuming you can stream with a tablet. You can stream off the, an iPhone. I don't know why you couldn't stream with a tablet. So... We talked about, you know, resuming the ATC swap because everybody loved it. It was a one stamp swap where you just send an ATC and a couple of small things to go in your envelope. Not, you know, it's not about resupplying somebody. Hi, Estrada. How are you? It's not about supplying somebody with, uh, with craft supplies. It's really just about, you know, the one stamp ATC thing. I hope you sleep good, Suzanne. Have a great night. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us. Yeah, I did a couple of cool Zoom projects with uh, Maridel. I participated with something she did, Maridel Abrams and Jerry Bellini. That was fun. Hi, Karen. How are you? Yeah, Karen says it's weird. How do you get subscribers if you can't stream? Or I guess you can post your videos and start getting subscribers that way. Yes. And you can still do that, right? Yes. Yes, I don't, you know, they've changed all, they have changed all of the YouTube things. You guys don't even get me started. How many of you guys get those, those things where they're like YouTube creator news and this, I don't know. It's like, I always, for me, it's always like, yeah, okay. 
what are they taking away now or what are they making what are they making more difficult now right that's all yep I agree with you, Karen. I agree. I agree 100%. I don't know why and what, and I don't, I don't, and I don't pretend to know. I don't know why and what and don't, I can't even begin to, to understand. You know, I think the whole, I think the reason the platform changed so much is because they, and I don't know this for sure, but you guys can type in, is because they were sued by for whatever the child act is. And that's when we all had to do our things differently or what have you. And so I have a feeling that that's part of it, that, um, but don't gamers live stream on YouTube? I mean, you guys, I don't know, cause I'm not a gamer, but I don't know. I was assuming that's why they did what they did, but I maybe I'm wrong because of that whole lawsuit for the, whatever it is, you know, the, what is it like Children's Information Act? Is is how do okay? How do you say your name? Is sobre? Is sobre? Oh. Oh, God bless you, Sharon. Thanks. We love you, and we hope you have a great night. And thanks for coming to hang out. Sweet dreams. Sorry, my pronunciations are not great. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do with this book. I don't know whether I'm going to just like sometimes how many of you guys have like a book like this where you've just like you smear a bunch of paint on and you just have a bunch of things in there and then you're thinking ah, I'll take it out. I'll take it apart and I'll you know, use it, or maybe you'll use it for backgrounds, or maybe you'll glue in it like an all-in-one. Your mom loves to in send ATCs. Um, Karen will do them in our Facebook group, Crafting Mama's Facebook group, or if you guys don't want to join or don't have Facebook, you can always email me at craftingmamasinfo at gmail.com. We haven't done them yet. We're not, we haven't resumed it yet, but we will. And then, because I have, we do have some people that don't have Facebook or anti-Facebook or whatever. You know, everybody's got their own thing. Um, that you can just send me an address and I'll match you up with somebody. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Carla. I was just talking about you earlier saying I didn't even get the notification for your last live. And I was even online, and I hate that. You guys, Carla Caged Fish is in the house. Everybody say hey to her. And if you guys haven't gone over and subbed to her, you need to. She is totally the queen of collage. She is the queen of collage. I can say that with all good conscience. Carla is the queen of collage. You're just headed to bed. Oh, we love you, girl. We're glad you stopped by. I hope you're doing well. We've been talking. We've been chatting. So I don't know how the whole, I don't know, I don't know how the whole thing works. You, I mean, yes, you do have to say that you're not, that you are not a channel for children, but I don't know the rest of it. So you might want to make sure, like, I know like when you're making a video, they give you the opportunity to say it's for kids or not. And I just made my channel where it's not for kids because you're right. A glue gun, using the word glue gun, that, that sets it off. I think it's a more automated thing. So anytime you use the word glue gun or stuff like that, they just hear the word gun. They don't, they don't hear the word glue. And so I think that's what it is. But I don't know for sure. Maybe you guys know better than me. You obviously do because I don't know.
So that's what it is. Well, they're saying that you can go to, you're up now. <laughs> well, we're glad you're up, Miss Carla. Um, they say that you can, you have to have a thousand subscribers now. And what else? What are the other, it used to be a hundred, I thought. But now they're saying it has to be a thousand subscribers. And we're just talking about people being able to stream that don't have enough. We're just talking about streaming. That's all. I'm just talking about streaming. And I'm just making some background pages either. I'm going to cut them out of you. Crafting, C R A F T I N G, mamas, M A M A S, info, I N F O, at gmail.com. And um, yeah, I'll let you know. I don't know when we're going to resume. We think in the next month, but you know, we're just kind of trying to wait it out. Like I had a conversation with her the other day about, with Diana the other day about it. Um, oh, they need watch time. Okay. So this is it now. So now we get it now. Okay. Dana says, and Carla's backing her up. It says a thousand subscribers and 2000 watch time hours. You think? Okay. I don't know. Does that, but is that, I mean, there are some people that stream that have less than that. So did they, did they qualify prior? Is that what it is? Is that how, is that how they are able to, is that how they're able to stream? It's because they, they qualified prior to this new ruling. I mean, I don't know. How many subbies do I have? I don't know. No idea. But I've been streaming for a long time before they made all these rules. You can stream on Facebook, but that doesn't, it's not the same as streaming on YouTube. And if you stream on Facebook, only the people that are your friends on Facebook see it. Yeah, so Carla's saying that's the reason some people don't have the same amount of subscribers or are not um, required to have the same amount of subscribers, but they had whatever they needed at the time when they started streaming. So, so Karen had a good point. She was like saying, "How do you? How can you get enough subscribers if you can't? You know, if you can't stream." I understand. I get it. I get it. They changed all kinds of rules on YouTube. I mean, it's a business. So, I mean, I understand. It doesn't mean, mean that I agree with all their, whatever they say or do, but obviously if you want to be part of their, their thing, you have to, right? If you want to be part of their if you want to use their platform, you have to be, you have to, you have to be privy or do whatever they're, do whatever they're requiring you to. That's all. And that is all. So how have you been, Miss Carla Cage Fish? What's going on in your world? What projects have you been working on? So Karen's asking, good question, Karen, and I don't know the answers. If you wanted to start streaming, where do you stream to get the hours and subscribers? You know? I don't know. That's a good question. That is a really good question. I don't know. I don't know the answers to all this. You're getting out of projects. Oh, girl. Hey, Sherry. I have lots of projects. I have 8,000 subscribers. Well, there you go. You know more than me. You guys, I've been doing this a while, though. I mean, it's not like I got 8,000 subscribers overnight. And you guys, when I started... I wasn't even, you know, 
I started my YouTube channel to help a friend who had a Facebook group. Okay. I had a friend that started a Facebook group and I started streaming. I mean, I started making videos because she was like, can you make videos and post them in our group of like projects, whatever projects we were working on. And I said, I guess so. So I did. And you guys, that's how it started. And it was never my intention to like, this was not even my this was never my, you know, like, and, and I think people have the wrong idea. They think that you make a ton of money on YouTube. You don't, you guys, you really don't. You only make money when somebody actually views an entire ad and clicks on it. And it has to be a lot of clicking and viewing. So it's like, I don't know. I think it's like before you make a penny or I think it's like you get paid by every thousand people that watch an ad. So that's all. So Carla's saying, oh, you're organizing your room. Girl, I can't even get into there. I can't even get into that part. So Carla's also saying to stream, you need to have videos that people watch to gain the view time and subscribers. So that's how she said. So you can... Dana says you can stream. So I had a friend tell me the other day that she has a friend or a daughter of a friend that quit her job so that she can start streaming on YouTube. And I said, I said, I've had a channel for a while. And I said, you know, there were, there were a few years in the beginning where I did okay. I mean, I just looked at it like it was like craft supply money. I mean, I didn't make a living or didn't make enough money to do anything other than that. And I said, and then the moment you lay off from making videos, right? The moment you're not making videos, you're, you don't, unless you have some video that's gone viral, you don't get paid. It's not like that. So Yeah, you can do Facebook on, you can do. What did you say, Miss that part? Streaming only gives you 20 hours a month and they charge for usage. StreamYard? Okay. She says, Carla's just saying, look, make videos and get people interested in what you do. And the best way to promote your videos, I think, is if you're in a Facebook group that allows you to, you know, like, or if like, sometimes like I've seen people get, um, lots of views on a, on a project or something. Like if they said um, inspired by like some famous crafter, like in the title and then people, people know that famous crafter and then they watch your thing. Yeah. Karen's right. She says on reflection, she guesses you just have to record and upload videos and people, and then people have to spend time watching them. And that's the only way that you can do it now. Yeah. Yeah. They've changed a lot of rules. Yeah, but Karen, it's so little. I, I, I'll just be really super transparent. You can see, and I have lots of watch time and lots of subscribers. And last year, I think I made less than $300 on YouTube the whole year. The whole year. So, and I have lots of videos up. So, you know. So if you guys think making $300 a year is, is money, then okay. <laughs> I, you know, I don't know if people make money. I mean, I see some people have those videos on their YouTube channels that say, um, whatever that they've, that they've made money or, or how much money they make per their YouTube channel. You know, I'm sure there are people, look, there's, 
there's corporate people, there's people that, you know, support other people that way. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. $300, yes. And the only reason I know is because I just did my taxes. And I um, was looking for that piece of paper because they send you a, I don't know, it's kind of like an I-9 or whatever. They send you that. It's stupid, okay? I'm not kidding. Well, it's true. 300 bucks. That's it. 300. I think it was $304 if you want to know the truth, but or maybe it was 308. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. If you just want to stream, you can totally stream on Facebook. I mean, if that's just your goal, just to stream, you can stream on Facebook. If your goal is to make, well, did you get, um, yeah, I got it in the mail. Um, did you, but you know what, you can go on to your Google AdSense account and you can download it from there too. You can just look at what you paid. I mean, what you were paid for the year. Cause you have to, if you don't have a Google AdSense account, then you're not making any money. you got to sign up for a Google AdSense account cause that's how they pay you. <coughs> yeah, I got it in the mail. It looked like a piece of junk mail. The only reason why I knew it wasn't a junk mail is that, so my hottie, you had to go to your bank accounts and add it up yourself. Message me later, Carla, and I'll tell you how to do it. I'll tell you how to do it because you can add in. You can see what you made the whole last year, and it'll give you a sum total. And then you have to have, like, the their codes or whatever they send you. And if you don't have it, I have it. I just did my taxes, so I did. I mean, it's stupid. So, you guys, I really didn't even understand how YouTube worked, but... My partner used to make money on YouTube when it first began. Like he was, he really did. He did really well on YouTube and, you know, his content. And then he took his channel down, you know, anyway, that was a whole nother thing. But, um, so he knew how it worked. Like, so he would just, he used to fuss at me all the time and go, just make content, just make content that you love. You'll find your audience. Just make content that you love. So, you know, that's what I did. And you guys, I, I didn't ever, it was like, his whole thing was, if it's something you love, you're going to do it whether you make money on it or not. But if you can make a few dollars and buy yourself a few paints, you'll feel, you'll feel that'll make you feel good, right? So I was like, yeah, whatever. Well, and that's how, you know. But I honestly don't know. I mean, I think there are some craft channels like the Art Sherpa. She must make a decent amount of money. She's got a lot of people that watch her. Lindsay, the frugal crafter. And I love her. She's got lots of people that follow her. And I think she tells you she make, her primary income comes from her, from her YouTube channel. You know, I think other people, their Patreon, it, like they just use YouTube as a vehicle to put it towards something else. And you don't even need to do live streams to do that. So Karen says there's actually public information. She said it's actually public information what people make on their channels. There are videos you can find on the bigger ones where, where they report the statistics and how much different channels make. That's good to know. So Carla says she was doing projects just for live streams that I just don't like. So now I have 200 plus projects. <laughs> oh girl, I can get it. I, I, no, I understand. So last week I was like in my own like funkadelic as far as like trying to figure out like what I want to work on. Like, what is it that I love? Oh, so she's telling you the different money-making channels per year that they'll tell you month per year. Well, just so you know, unless you make $100, you don't get a check. So if it takes you three months to make $100, you'll get one check every three months. <laughs> oh, Carla says she's going to live stream tomorrow showing projects that she's going to tear apart. What time are you live streaming? Of 
course I spend more money on supplies than I make. That's why you laughed, girl. Please, of course I do. Just like all of you do. But I'm just saying, like, there's a couple reasons to live stream, right? There's the live stream part that is, like, the camaraderie part where you feel like if you're like me and you live in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. And hang on a second. I'm going to turn my – this is my, my man gun. I asked my hottie to buy me a new – crafting gun one year for Christmas or birthday or whatever. And he bought me this one. Okay. You guys, this will melt wallpaper. I mean, this is like serious. Like you could, you could, you could melt metal with it. So I call it my man gun. Um, so Carla says she's going to stream at noon, noon Eastern time. That's great. You got to get all your junk together. So, well, I'm still here, Sharon. I haven't gone anywhere. Somebody tell Sharon I'm still here. So you guys, if, if you haven't subscribed to Carla's channel, hang on a second, I'm out. I just don't want to shut this and then it'll stick to the next page. And... Yeah, I agree with you, Christina. Hang on a second. I'll, I'll talk about that too. Just, I just don't want my, I don't want it to stick together because I actually like this background. So Christina says, and that's why I do it too. So Christina says, I need the social side of crafting. So streaming is the only way to go if you're in a remote area. For me too. Um, Deb says, I think it's about 5 p.m. for us, and you'll join after government daily updates. Oh, awesome. Yeah, you have to subscribe for notifications, and then you click the bell. Well, you say that, but, you know, I missed your last live stream, and, and I was online. That was the frustrating part. Sometimes I miss it, and I'm not online, but I was online, and I didn't even get the email notification, which I was just like, okay, why, why isn't this happening to me? Lala says sometimes she feels overwhelmed with so many people expecting us to watch every live. Nobody expects you, nobody expects you to, to watch live. I don't expect it. And I know Carla doesn't expect it. If you're there, great. If you have the time, great. And if you're not, it's okay. I mean, we all have really busy lives. And I think right now it's, it's great way for us to stay connected as a craft community and to especially with all of us going through this and in isolation i think it's like really great but but i don't think it's not necessary but sherry you know what you can stream anytime it doesn't matter if somebody else is on you know just stream your audience will find you like, I don't think about it. Like, I know, like, if I if I thought about, like, oh, I can't stream because somebody else is on, I'd never stream. You know, and maybe their audience is not my audience. You know, you can't worry about it. You just do what you do. Hi, Crafty Corner. Yeah, no, I think we all. Yeah, it, I agree. Estrada says that she loves it when some of her favorite crafties go live, especially during these hard times. It makes you feel less lonely and motivated to create, but it also keeps you company and it keeps you with people that are experiencing what you are and not necessarily with all the hype that goes on. Okay, I'm starting to really like this book. You guys, you can find these free almost anywhere. And I'll make a different cover for it. And if I can find my, because I have so many projects and stuff that I've done before that I don't know where they are. It's like, I told you guys, like I took a bunch of stuff. I think it might be in storage. I have a whole bunch of stuff in storage. I got to go there and get it all out. But these books, you can find almost free anywhere. This is the One Minute Money Manager, this one, and uh, Who Moved My Cheese, and then there's a couple of other ones. I won't say the page quality is great, but for one of these, like, paint, roll off, or, like, can you imagine if I just do all the backgrounds first, and then I go back and I art journal on them? 
like I already, it's already like, it's like, I don't even have to break the page because it's there, right? Some of them I really like, like this one I love. I just cut it out and use it in a different journal. I haven't been very motivated either, Carla. Honestly, I haven't. I love, I love Stacy at Pink Poodle Craft. Yeah, I think she had an auction today. You guys, I can't watch auctions because I don't have any money to spend. I watched Cares and I tried to bid on something, but I don't have any money to spend right now. I love Stace. Well, I agree with you. I haven't been motivated either. I think it's the general, I think it's the collective. Carla, you're not alone in that. Some of these pages I'm really liking, some of them not so much, but it's okay because it's okay. Oh, this is perfect for us. Here we go. People who feel good about themselves produce good results. <laughs> so that's why I haven't been crafting because I haven't been feeling great. I haven't been feeling, I've just been feeling everything, <coughs> you know, <coughs> like <coughs> empathic everything. <coughs> I have no more, no more diet soda. Dumas Crafty Corner says she goes live when she goes live. And if you're there, great. And if you're not, it's okay. Perfect. Tell us your first name, Bima, unless you want us to call you Bima. And thanks for joining us. So you guys, anybody can do one of these. This does not take, if this is not like fancy, everybody can get a, a, a used book and start their background journals. I have, I've made a bunch of these. Oh, Els is your name? Oh, nice to meet you, Els. Well, I'm glad. Thanks for joining us. We're, we're grateful you're joining us. You guys, I don't think there's any, like, real mystery to, um, to needing to feel connected. I think the mystery comes when we allow ourselves not to connect when we need to be. Do you know what I mean? Like, why, like... Like when somebody says, well, why didn't you just go for a walk or whatever? And you're just like thinking to yourself, because I'm not feeling it. Or I'm not motivated to or whatever you're feeling, right? And then you finally go on the walk and you feel a, but you feel a lot better, you know? You're like, oh my gosh, why didn't I go? Why didn't I take that walk before? Or whatever it is. It doesn't have to be a walk, but you get my drift, right? Hi, Miss Barb Owen. We were just talking about you earlier. Miss Barb Bowen has been a beacon of light during this difficult time. She has been, she's been crafting and keeping it going on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 2 p.m. Eastern. Drama-free Monday, drama-free Wednesday, and drama-free Friday. <laughs> we were. I was talking about you earlier. I was telling about... You know, like we're all going through our own thing. And right now, sometimes all we need is that stability of a friendly, of a friendly crafting buddy. Right. And I was just saying how you've been around. I mean, I have had intentions to be on. I, it seems like every day I have. Tell me if any of you have a life like this. Okay. Every day I'm like, okay, I'm going to, I'm definitely going to do some live streaming today. And then. The other day, something happened with our washing machine. So then I spent the whole, what time I would have been doing stuff, I spent it on my washing machine. Hey, Jennifer, how are you? Happy to see you. So, I mean, every single day, it's just, it's been like, I've had that kind of day. Like, um, I don't know. Like my hotties, my hotties, um, car. His, he has a Prius and his light came on. So like, it's like I had to go with him, follow him up to wherever the mechanic was to pick it. So it's just like, that was the whole day shot. You know what I mean? Or whatever. By the time, by the time I got back, I was like, oh, I'm not streaming. You know, <laughs> I was like, I'm not streaming. You got to get a move on, make you get off your behind. Girl, we're all right there with you. Know that we love you. And if you guys are around tomorrow at noon, Eastern, go over and head over and watch Carla Cage Fish. She's going to be streaming. She's going to be taking apart projects she doesn't like. Oh, 
A Prius is not a car. You know, Els, I live on the island of Maui, and everything here is crazy expensive. So it's a car here. <laughs> it's a car here. It's a car here. It is a car here. It is crazy expensive, and, you know, Jennifer says she'll be there, Carla. Yeah, I would, you know, I would love it. I'm going to, I'm making it my, I'm going to make it my crafty uh, goal to get to one of Carla's, when all of this dies down, to get to one of Carla's uh, gatherings. Carla was having, were you having a monthly Carla or were you having them every couple months? Carla lives in Florida. So if you guys are around where she lives, she has a a monthly or she had a, a gathering. I don't know how often. How often was it, Carla? That stenciling didn't work. Stenciling with a baby wipe. Oh, I would love to I would just would love to come just like I would love to go hang out with Miss Barbowen. Miss Barbowen was gonna have a crafting retreat in California and my behind was gonna try to go to that. But with all this, I guess we're staying put, right? We are staying put with all of this ridiculousness going on right now. We are staying put. Yep. I don't know. After this is over, after this whole thing is over and we get back to some facsimile of normal, whatever that looks like for each and one of us. I'm definitely going to make it my goal to come and hang out with some of you. Make it my goal because I'd love to travel. Come and come to one of your gatherings, wherever it may be. Now I really need my, my stenciling, stippling brush or sponge or whatever. And I don't have it over here. in the other room it's in my it's in my other room the other room come to Florida <laughs> come visit Florida I used to live in Florida you guys I taught I went yes I lived in Florida I lived in Jacksonville for a number of years, long time ago though, long, long time ago. We should have a retreat. I'm gonna have one when it gets better here. I'm gonna have one in Hawaii so you guys can come. You were having them whenever Carla says it was in the schedule. So Dana says she has a friend that does retreats. Her name is Super Scrappers and she is from Lakeland also. Aww. Yeah, Deb. Really, Deb, you're coming all the way from far away. So how are you, Miss Barb Owen? Tell us what's going on in your world. And how is race? And how is Cosman? And I loved your stream the other day. I was there till the end, but I was... I had something happened with our dishwasher. I think I was trying to fix it, too. So I'm telling you, every single time... So this is going to be, I don't know if I'm going to use it as an art journal or if I'm just going to just keep painting like random backgrounds in it and then cut them out or tear them out, but it's a good way to use it up. When are you moving, Lori? You're super tired. Yeah. So does anybody want to talk about the energies at hand going on right now? <laughs> does anybody want to talk about that? Because I want to talk, I can talk a little bit about it if, if if it's not too out there for some of you. And if it is, you'll change the channel and it's all good. Um, <clears throat> so right now, you know, the energies of transformation on the planet are pretty high. I mean, you know, think about it. Mother Earth had to, had to institute all this for us to, did you hear that for the first time in, uh, <clears throat> for the first time in, I don't know how long that 
part of the Ganges River is drinkable. That has been a polluted body of water forever. And because of all of this, it is now, the water is now drinkable, parts of it. So if you try to look at this like a spiritual thing, which I try to, because in my world, that's how it was. Yeah, Carla says the dolphins are back in Venice. Oh, you should see the whales here. I mean, they've been here, but they're really happy now that we're not doing so much. Um, <clears throat> so if the earth was tired and we're part of the earth, what are we? Especially as women, right? Especially as women. Especially, especially, especially as women. We take on all of those energies. We take on those energies. We... We keep the, the energies going, you know, we take them on, we keep them going. We're all empathic. So of course you're going to be tired. And right now it is our job to just stay home. And when we can wrap our heads around that and realize it's not just for us, it's for the earth. You can, you can, you can really be at home a lot easier. So <clears throat> I wouldn't, I'm not surprised you're tired. You know, I'm tired too. And I don't have any get up and go and I get it, you know, and there's nothing wrong with me physically, you know, I don't have any physical ailments, but you know, every day in my meditations, I'm like, you know, just trying to be present with where I am, whatever that is for me. And sometimes it's good. And sometimes it's like, you know, like I don't have it. I don't have the gumption. I don't have, yeah, I can understand that you're weary of staying home too. But if we can look at it like this, if we can look at like this staying home is like uh, like a necessity to heal, you know, it's not it, it, it's not nearly as bad. Yep, I get it, and I understand about the staying home thing, girl. I'm a, I'm a get up and go kind of person, and I haven't been able to get up and go anywhere. I have not been able to get up and go. Anywhere. Yes, I've had to release the resistance to staying home. I've had to, I've had to release it. And I've also had to get to a place where I'm grateful. Because you guys, I was like, I don't know. I was not, I was not in a space of gratitude. <laughs> I was not in a space of gratitude. Jennifer says she's loving staying home. I hear you. Elsa, she's a germaphobe introvert. This is her time. I love my home, but I will tell you this: I have realized I love I love my home, but I'm telling you for sure that I've realized that living in my small house with my whole family, <laughs> I need bigger space. I need a bigger space. You made painting papers with the Easter egg, guys. Ooh, that sounds awesome, Jen. You've been lurking. Oh, Ann, we're happy to see you. I'm glad you're good. You have a new fur baby, and you're honey and crap. I know, but you know what? Like, you know what I miss? I miss like just going and sitting on the beach. And here you can't even go do that. You have to either be swimming or surfing. And I, you know, I don't feel like putting on a bathing suit. You know, I used to walk the beach every day. Just but you have to, they 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 they're they're, they're giving you tickets. Now if you if you We are the mother and mother earth. You're absolutely right, Anne. One hundred percent. Hi, Amy. How are you? I'm not. I'm not drawing this for a, an effect. I'm drawing it so the pages don't stick together. I actually like parts of this. 
I think I'd paint over some of it, but I like the grungy part. And this part might end up being a really good um, piece for my, you know, I mean, I understand, but, you know, if you don't surf and you don't want to be in a bathing suit, it seems like, you know, whatever. You know, I just gotta let it go. It's like, let go of the resistance, as Barb says. You're doing well? Oh, good. So, yeah, we are the mother and Mother Earth. So, I, you know, I meditate every day. I'm sure many of you do. And it's not, my meditation is no more important than anyone else's. But I will tell you that I have definitely gotten a lot of info for myself and my meditations, which all of us are, that information is available to all of us at all times. You know, whatever you need to know. And... Part of it is to, as Barb said, release the resistance. Um, part of it for me has also been like um, to like find my purpose like in this whole thing. Like, um, I don't know. I, that probably sounds ridiculous. But I will tell you what one of my friends said, and I really appreciate her. She's like an amazing, amazing lady, and she's um, – She's an angel channeler, and I included, I, I, if you look in one of my videos, you'll see some of her, her, and I always, whenever she streams live on Facebook, I always try to post it. Um, I was talking to her the other day, and I was just saying, <clears throat> you know, you know, this is a bigger lesson for all of us, and, you know, I said, but for me right now, it's like I can't even see what value my part is. Not, not that you have to have value in your part, but or that, you know, and then, you know, she just pointed out to me, which I was so grateful for. She just said, you know, she said, we often, she said, it's like, you know, you can't see your own nose, but you know, it's there. <laughs> you know? And I was like, yeah. And she just pointed out to me that, you know, the collective that we are, this, like, whatever note we play in this orchestra of the earth is so important for each one of us <clears throat> to do our best to do whatever it is we need to do for ourselves first and foremost. And then after that place, you know, you can think about something else. The beach and the beach is open, but you can't sit on the beach. You have to walk, run, swim, um, or surf. And I don't even know if they, I don't know if they even, I don't even know if they even allow you to just walk on the beach. Cause my girlfriend is a, she's a sheller, you know, she collects shells and she makes things from it. That's how she makes a living. She said she was shelling the other day and the cops told her that they were going to find her if she didn't get in the water. So I don't know, but just, so just know that your light is so important. All of our lights is equally important, but we're a collective light. And as we all turn ourselves on brighter and brighter, it becomes more, um, it becomes more for, for others. See, I like these kind of pages best. I know they probably aren't for everybody, but I like the sort of like mishap and whatever. You know, I like that the best. I mean, that to me, like I could all on that, you know? I like this one. Like, I could art journal on that. Those are the ones that I like. You started meditating, Amy? Oh, that's nice. Deb said she took a meditation when this started, and I wanted to look back at on this time. And you started doing some things you put off. I hear you. Your beaches are close where you are, Jen. Amy said she started meditation, meditating after her father passed to help you through the grieving process. It does. It works. Yeah, you can only go out, and Deb says that they can only go out for exercise, walking, or cycling from home. And where do you live? Carla's asking where you live. Well, you guys, I am, I'm going to do a very short meditation for those that want to join, and you please don't feel obligated to. <laughs> you know, it's your, your energy, your time. 
Um, and I'm grateful that you all showed up and to hang out with me. How far is Melbourne? How, how far is Melbourne from where you are in Lakeland? Amy says they're only allowed out for essentials. They don't even allow you out for exercise? That's not good. Wow. You guys all know each other. Oh, you're in Lala? Okay, good. About two hours. Wow. About two hours from Lakeland? Well, we'll all have to get together in Florida, and that way we can see Carla and all of you. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I may, I may journal in it. I may art journal in it. I may make it. Everything's far from me, Carla. Everything is far from me. Everything. It would take me to get to Florida probably 14 hours in air travel. 14 to 15 hours. That's just in the air, the flights. That's not the, the waiting time. You're in Vermont and it's a very strict lockdown right now. Yeah, I have a couple of people in my Facebook group that are from New York, and they, they said it's really, really, really strict. Bye, Miss Deb. Love you, and you... Oh, well, I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I could be here. I've been trying for days, but my life has not lent it. I think that we've fixed our washing machine. I unclogged the dishwasher, and <laughs> we won't have any more car problems. Well, we're all going to have to come and see you. We're going to have to come and see you, Miss Carla, Miss Carla Cage Fish. So if you guys want to do the meditation with me, it's really just an energy work meditation that centers you into you. That's all it is. It connects you back to your core of who you are, to the core of Mother Earth and to the core of divine energy and, and back into your flow. And even though I facilitate the meditation, I also come back and listen to it. And... It works. And I and I'm when I'm participating with you, I'm I'm there hundred percent. Sometimes I can't even speak because the energy just goes through and that's just what it is. And yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. So grab your water. Good night, Miss Carla. We love you. And we'll see you tomorrow at your stream. Grab your water. If you want to have energized water, and if you don't, you don't need it. It's not necessary, but some people like to have energized water, and then they drink it afterwards. I'm also going to ask you, just at this moment, to bring to mind anyone that you feel could use a boost, a boost in any way, just a positive upliftment, and always include those people that you have conflicts with, because as you raise your vibration and your intention for them is something big, bigger and better, it eases the tension between whatever dissonance or whatever obstacles or whatever it is, and actually you release it. So bring to mind anybody you can bring to mind. Maybe it's your husband. Maybe it's your wife. Maybe it's your kids. Maybe it's your mother-in-law, your neighbor or work colleague. Or maybe it's your any political figure that you feel a certain disdain or you know, not perfect alignment with. You always want to bring to mind your home. You want to bring you to mind, if you want to include your pets, maybe you have a cat or a dog that's acting out, or maybe you just want to include them because you love them so much, you know? It works. As we release our ties to them, they can then become who they need to be, whatever that is. So let's get started. All you need to do to participate is to breathe. And that means inhale through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. You can't get it wrong. So anything you do is perfect. So imagine yourself in a column of light. This is your column of light. It is unique to your being soul spirit. Allow this column of light to surround you six feet in all directions. When you look up, you can't see the end. And when you look down, you can't see the end. This is your column of light. It is unique to your being, soul, spirit. 
Give your column of light the suggestion, heart of the earth. And with that, your column of light is right there, deep in the heart of the earth. Give your column of light big tree roots, like oak roots, deep in the heart of the earth. As you allow your roots to connect with the heart of the earth, feel her energy. Some may feel a warm sensation. Some may see this energy. I see it like golden light. But you can see it, feel it, or think it any way that works for you. Feel this beautiful golden light energy rising up around your roots and feeling your feet and ankles, calves and knees, thighs and hips. Feel it filling the base of your spine, your lower abdomen, your waist, your chest and back, your shoulders, your arms, your wrists, your hands, and out of your fingers. Feel it filling your neck and throat, your face and head, and feel it fountaining out the top of your head as high as you can imagine. Ready? Breathe it in. Breathe it in. And breathe it in. Take a moment to enjoy your connection to the earth. Focus on your column of light above your head. Give your column of light the same roots you did below your feet, above your head, into the heart of the sun, the central sun, the heart of creator creation energy. Or the heart of the divine in any way that works for you. Allow your roots to go deep far and wide above your head in this beautiful angelic realm. As your roots connect deep, far and wide, allow the energy that the divine has in store for you to flow through your column of light. Feel it mixing with your light and the earth's energy and spreading six feet in all directions. Feel it filling your head and face, your throat and neck, your shoulders, your arms, your wrists, your hands, and out every finger. Feel it filling your chest and back, your waist, your lower abdomen, and the base of your spine. And feel it pouring through your hips, thighs, knees, calves, and ankles, and out the bottom of your feet, expelling any and all excess deep in the heart of the earth. Ready? Breathe it in. Breathe it in and breathe it in. Take a moment to enjoy your connection to the heart of the earth and the heart of creation. Now I'd like you to focus on your column of light above your head where your roots are in the heart of the divine, the heart of creator creation energy. And for those of you that can't imagine any of that, just imagine the heart of the sun. On the inhale, I'd like you to receive peace, balance, clarity, and freedom. And on the exhale, I want you to let go of anything that no longer serves you. Ready? Receive in love. Release in love. Receive in love, release in love. Receive, release. Receive, release.
focus six feet above your head and all the points of light in between. <clears throat> Breathe in, receive peace, balance, clarity, bliss, and freedom. And on the exhale, release anything that doesn't work for you. Ready? Receive in love. Release in love. Receive. Release. Receive. Release. One more time. Receive. Release. Focus one foot above your head and all the points of light in between. Breathe in. Receive peace, balance, bliss, clarity, and freedom. And on the exhale, let go of anything that no longer serves you. Ready? Receive in love. Release in love. Release. Receive. Release. Receive. Release. Focus on the top of your head. Breathe in. Receive in love and release in love. Receive peace, clarity, bliss, and freedom. Receive in love. Release in love. Receive, release. Receive, release. Receive, release. One more time. Receive in love, release in love. Focus on the point of light between your eyes and the center of your forehead. Breathe in and receive peace, balance, bliss, clarity, and freedom. Receive in love. Release in love. Receive. Release. Receive, release. Receive, release. Focus on your throat. Breathe in, receive peace, balance, bliss, clarity, and freedom. And on the exhale, release anything that no longer serves you. Ready? Receive in love. Release in love. Receive. Release. Receive. Release. Receive. Release. Focus on your heart, breathe in, receive peace, balance, bliss, clarity, and freedom. And on the exhale, release anything that no longer serves you. Ready? Receive in love. Release in love. Receive. Release. Receive, release.
the C for mace. The C the mace. Focus on your waist. Breathe in. Receive peace, balance, bliss, and freedom. And on the exhale, let go of anything that doesn't serve you. Ready? Receive in love. Release in love. Receive. Release. Receive. Release. Receive. Release. Focus on your lower abdomen. Breathe in, receive peace, balance, bliss, and freedom. Then on the exhale, let go of anything that no longer works for you. Ready? Receive in love. Release in love. Receive. Release. Receive. Release. Receive. Release. Focus on the base of your spine. Breathe in and receive peace, balance, bliss, and freedom. And on the exhale, let go of anything that doesn't serve you. Ready? Receive in love. Release in love. Receive, release. Receive, release. Receive, and release. One more time. Receive. Release. Focus one foot below your feet. Breathe in and receive peace, balance, bliss, and freedom. Receive in love. Release in love. Receive, release. Receive, release. Receive, release. Focus six feet below your feet and all the points collide in between. Breathe in and receive peace, balance, bliss, and freedom. Receive in love. Release in love. Receive. Release. Receive. Release. Receive, release. Focus where your light meets the heart of the earth, where your roots are. Breathe in, receive peace, balance, bliss, freedom, and clarity. And allow all of your points of light in between shine as brightly as they possibly can. Breathe in, receive in love. 
Release and love. Focus on your hands and put them to your heart. Allow yourself to feel this. Bring to mind all those you've included. Send it to the earth, to the ocean, to the animals, the plants, the minerals. Breathe in love and send out love. Receive love and give love. Receive and give. Imagine an infinity symbol starting in the heart of heaven where your roots are above your head, crossing through your heart, entering into where your roots are in the heart of the earth and back through your, your heart and ending where it began. On the inhale, receive love from the divine, the heart of the sun and the heart of the earth. And on the exhale, give back love to the divine, the heart of the sun and the heart of the earth. Ready? Receive and give. Receive and give. Receive and give. Receive and give. And when you feel ready, open your eyes and come back. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Thanks for painting papers and being my peeps and just being here in this time and space. I appreciate you all so very much. And I'm always sending you so much love. And know that we're in this together shine your light as bright as you can that's all you, that's your only job that's all of our only job to shine our light as bright as we can i love you guys and until next time tomorrow don't forget to join uh, carla caged fish caged fish with a k caged fish here on youtube at noon eastern time and miss barbo in at two o'clock and it's how to get creative with Barbo. Uh, anyway, my lovelies, I love you all. And as always, from my heart to your heart, I'm sending you so much aloha. Until next time.